Peter Pan by J.M. Barry tells the story of a young boy called Peter. He spends his never-ending childhood on the island of Neverland. In the meantime, Mrs. Darling had put the children to bed in unwanted silence and lit their nightlights. They could hear Nana barking and John whimpered, It is because he is chaining her up in the yard. But Wendy was wiser. That is not Nana's unhappy bark, she said, little guessing what was about to happen. That is her bark when she smells danger. Danger? Are you sure, Wendy? Oh, yes. Mrs. Darling quivered and went to the window. It was securely fastened. She looked out and the night was peppered with stars. They were crowding round the house as if curious to see what was to take place there. But she did not notice this, nor that one or two of the smaller ones winked at her. Yet a nameless fear clutched at her heart and made her cry. Oh, how I wish that I wasn't going to a party tonight. Even Michael, already half asleep, knew that she was perturbed. And he asked, can anything harm us, mother, after the night lights are lit? Nothing precious, she said. They are the eyes a mother leaves behind her to guard her children. She went from bed to bed, singing enchantments over them, and little Michael flung his arms round her. Mother, he cried, I'm glad of you. They were the last words she was to hear from him for a long time. Number 27 was only a few yards distant, but there had been a slight fall of snow and father and mother darling picked their way over it deftly not to soil their shoes. They were already the only persons in the street and all the stars were watching them. Stars are beautiful, but they may not take an active part in anything. They must just look on forever. It is a punishment put on them for something they did so long ago that no star knows what it was. So the older ones have become glassy-eyed and seldom speak. Winking is the star language. But the little ones still wonder. They are not really friendly to Peter, who had a mischievous way of stealing up behind them and trying to blow them out. But they are so fond of fun that they were on his side tonight and anxious to get the grown-ups out of the way. So, as soon as the door of number 27 closed on Mr and Mrs Darling, there was a commotion in the firmament and the smallest of all stars in the Milky Way screamed out, Now, Peter!